show comes out and the kids are going bananas about the music that's on that show Stranger Things and everybody's like oh wow that's you know that song is so cool and I'm laughing going man all those songs came out when I was a young teenager <laughs> I guess everything that's old is new again does that mean I'm new does that mean that I can be young again wait a minute maybe that's not such a good idea after all do you guys elbows hurt from crocheting man my elbows are so sore all the time you know when I wake up in the middle of the night my elbows are just killing me you know and like I mean I tend to curl my arms up too when I sleep I guess I feel like I'm still in the womb or whatever but man my elbows just ache all the time huh do you guys have that problem there are some seriously disturbed people out there out here you know one of my pet peeves is when you're at a red light and the light just turns green and you got this idiot behind you honking at you it's like can you give me a second to take my foot off the brake and put it on the gas I just don't understand people why they're so bloody impatient all the time like that's just excessive absolutely ridiculous just makes me want to get out and punch people okay here's one for you I just had to do a delivery and then in the instructions it says Deliver to the window beside the garage. What? So I drive up there and sure enough, there's a guy waving out the window. I, I take my bag up there and he's holding his hand out and there's crap all around where I'm supposed to deliver it. There's car parts and there's garbage and it's like, I can't get to the window. So like, he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't know that was there. Do you not live here? Like, <sighs> people. Ooh. What the hell? What, what? Why are you backing up? Can you not see me coming? What is wrong with you? How do you think that both of us are supposed to occupy the same space? at the same time without something bad happening. Duh! Okay, a real pet peeve of mine is when you're delivering way outside of town. I mean, this place has got farmland. They've got a house. they got a BMW in the parking lot. You know. And then they don't even give you a freaking tip. You know, they, we get paid $6 a delivery and then if we get a tip on top of that, great. $6 isn't even minimum wage. But I have to drive 10 minutes out of town to get 6 bucks. Pathetic. You know, it's really hard to find your car in a big parking lot when it's right in front of you. You know, I was sitting there thinking. Um, I was looking at the roads while I was driving and I was going, where are all the people? You know, there's barely any cars out. And, well, I found them. They're in the mall food court. Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. So, I took you along with me to at work today because... You know, why not <laughs> it's it's funny how you um when you're driving and you're working and you're kind of just thinking about things right and it's like oh you know so I just thought I'd kind of share my day <laughs> so anyway um a couple of things I mean George should be doing this part but I uh 
I figured I might, uh, pfft, he's busy. So uh, I might as well do it. <laughs> as you know, uh, wonder, 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 yeah, one of my wonderful subscribers, Chris, uh, sent me some Colorama Halo Hogo yarn. That is a mouthful. Um, <clears throat> so there was one of them that was all in disarray. It had all come apart. So I thought, hmm, why not give it to George and give, you know, get him to put it on the Addy and see how that yarn compares to the latte cake. Because I gave some of my, believe it or not, I gave him some of my latte cakes to put on the Addy because I wanted to find out what it was going to look like. Uh, and I did that after I saw Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet. She put, I believe she put one on her Addy. So I thought, hmm, let's check this out. So um, <laughs> I was a little surprised. This is the latte. Okay. I thought for sure that it was going to be more fluffy. I mean, you can see the halo on there. All the fluff went on the inside because this is a double layered hat, right? It's like double layers. So all the fluff went on the inside layer. And I was going, what? Oh, stuff is falling. I'm going, what? <laughs> so, yeah, you can see, like, on this one, there's not a lot of the fluff happening there. And I thought, well, that's disappointing. So I'm hoping that once these are washed, the fluff will come out and they will be like a latte cake. So, but they are really still soft. So yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's, um, these are double-sided. <laughs> Ta-da! So yeah, I mean, they're really, really soft and they're really light. So they'll be good for, you know, all year pretty much. You know how some people, they still wear slouch hats in the summertime? Um, so this would be good for that. Now, this is the Ogo. No fluff. Not really. A little bit. A little bit. So this also double layered. <laughs> One side's white. The other side's light purple. And then here's the other purple and darker purple yet did you know how the ogo it has it goes from light to dark so two hats came out with all the colors in them so i thought that was kind of cool right so you can figure out which color which um which part of the layering you want so that was really neat and this is squishy soft too. Not as soft as the latte, of course, but very close, very close. Um, I'm wondering what it's going to be like when this is washed up. I think it's going to soften even more. Um, but yeah, I think they're, they're really, let's see if I can put it on. <laughs> I, I look so different with my hair short. I'm so used to having like all my hair coming out and, you know, but, um, yeah, I mean, again, really nice and light, but it's not quite as light as the latte. This one's a little bit thicker. So, but I really like it. It's really nice. So, yeah. Okay, I got an SOS kind of email from my friend Amanda from 
uh, Tat Mom and the Bag Brigade. Actually, it's Tat Mom the 73 and the Bag Brigade, but I keep saying Tat Mom and the Bag Brigade. Um, she is trying to get her watch hours and her subscribers. I think she's got her subscribers. I'm thinking. I can't remember. She's got one or the other. I'm pretty sure it's her. She's got her subscribers. Now she needs the watch hours or something to get monetized. That girl's having problems. She needs her monetization. Um, not to say that we get paid a you know crazy amount of money because we don't. Um, but every little bit helps. You know, she's on a disability. I don't think I'm telling tales out of school. But <clears throat> she's on a disability and they are screwing her around. So um, she could really use the Yarny community support by uh, watching her videos and subscribing and, you know, watching an ad or two and helping her get monetized. So I'm going to have her link down below. And uh, if you can go give her some yarny love, that would be wonderful. Uh, hi, Amanda. <laughs> um, the next channel I want to talk about. <laughs> I was on um, Angela from my precious, pre precious, my precious, <laughs> um, my precious yarnery. I was on her live and I happened to notice somebody pop up in her live chat that I didn't recognize. The channel name was John Boy Crochet. I was like, hmm, interesting. Like, if you're around my age, we all grew up with the Waltons, John Boy, you know. So this intrigued me. So I went over to his channel. And I went to the very beginning of his, um, of his channel. I watched his introduction video. My God, I laughed so hard. Tears coming down. I mean, he is hilarious. I ended up binge watching his whole channel. <laughs> He's a hoot. Oh my gosh. He's... He doesn't look like the type of guy who you would think would be crocheting, but he is, and he does really nice work, and he has, he is a character. He's, <laughs> apparently he's been, he was around a little while before, disappeared for a couple months, and then popped back up again. So, um, yeah, so I was just like, this is cool. Like we don't have a whole lot of men in this community. So when we get them, it's like we grab on and, you know, we make them known. So this channel is one to be known because he's a hoot. Um, I can't wait to see what videos he has coming up. Um, because he's really funny. <laughs> So go check him out. I've got his channel down below as well. And uh, tell him that Sandy from Crochet A sent you. And yeah, so that's it. <laughs> so thanks for joining me um, on my crazy day. I will probably come out with, you know, it's funny. I wasn't, I wasn't going to do vlogist. Vl yeah, vlogist. And I ended up doing like a whole week's worth of videos anyway so um i'm on a roll so i go okay fine i'm just gonna go with it i'm not doing vlogist but i'm on a roll <laughs> so i uh, i have a few other videos that i'm probably gonna do too so <laughs> so i hope you're not sick of me yet uh and i will try and see if i can get george to come on more often because you guys seem to really love him and uh, he, he is kind of funny, isn't he? <laughs> He's got a lot to talk about. A lot. <laughs> so, okay, guys, I love you all. Thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.
Oh, really? <laughs> That's just the way my day has been going. 